I have lived and the dust it settles on these things, displays my age again. Like a new skin made from old skin that I've barely been lived in. Hey, I'm Sarah Westwood for AMA Hits, and I'm here with Scott and Grant Hutchinson, two of the five-piece Frightened Rabbit. How are you? Quite well. Yeah, doing fine. Good, good. Thank you. Welcome to Canada. Have you been here before? Yeah, a few times. Yeah, it's our third time playing Vancouver, actually. Never before in such a lovely theatre as this. This album, A Winter for Mixed Drinks, you've had like an overwhelming amount of positive, critical response to it. Do you read your reviews and how much do you actually care about what people have to say about your music? I do care. I, I read some. I, I've stopped reading them all. I mean, the problem now is there's such a volume of um, bloggers and things, and that's, that's healthy enough. You know, it's kind of... <laughs> taken away from proper music journalism because I don't mind someone taking my record to pieces if they've got a reason for that but if it's just like some spiteful little dude in his bedroom just like <laughs> at the end of it all the, the best review you can have is playing a show and having everyone enjoy themselves for like 90 minutes. Can you share with me a little bit about uh, the band dynamic? It's sort of grown from you to the two of you to three to four, now five. Do you think that you're done collecting band members now? Five's good. Five's <laughs> good. I mean, I think I think it's just a, in my head from the very outset, it's always been a bigger band, you know, and the only reason it wasn't was because I just wanted to take my time and I didn't want to get make the wrong decision and I, and I wanted it to be a natural organic process rather than putting an ad in a newspaper which is a recipe for disaster. Maybe, maybe you need to make one wrong decision with, with one band member you know that, that one. then had to leave. Um, that wasn't and, very good. And no it wasn't, very, it wasn't yeah. very nice. Since, since then it's you know we've, we've sort of made sure that got it right. So for this record you went to a sort of a remote seaside location called Crail. Why did you decide to do that? Is it important for you in the writing process to sort of go out of the day-to-day? -day? It is important to change the surroundings. It doesn't need to be remote like that. It doesn't need to be away from other people but it needs to be, it does affect me, I know that. So. Uh, this time around, it just so happened that a friend of mine had a f his house was empty, and uh, and he was like, like any time you want to go out there, and uh, and I took him up on his offer, and so it was the nicest location right by the sea. I'd never lived by the sea before, and that really hugely impacted the especially the lyrical content of the record, and I think the sound of it as well really wouldn't have been the same if if I hadn't been out there because you know I'd take my daily recuperative walk and uh, down by the sea, and then I'd come back with an idea and then work on it during the day. And I had a very strict routine when I was out there. So I think, uh, you know, all of that completely affected the, the outcome. It, it has to. For more info on Frightened Rabbit, check out frightenedrabbit.com and spread the good word.